Today we're going to look at an exhibition by an Irish artist named Maud Cotter called A Consequence of a Dappled World. It is an exhibition of sculptures at the Hugh Lane Gallery and the title of the exhibition comes from a poem by Gerard Manley Hopkins named Pied Beauty. The artist, Maud Cotter, uses materials you might find in everyday life such as cardboard, plastic and hot water bottles to create sculptural assemblages. In this work, without stilling, the artist has created a choreographed flow in a sculptural form which he says is on the edge of formation. It is made using birch plywood which has been heated and bent into a curved shape. These individual pieces of plywood were then stacked to create a larger sculptural form. There is a sense of movement and balance to the work. Today we are going to play with rhythm and balance by creating some temporary sculptures. You're going to need some card. An old cereal box or other card packaging will work well. Coloured card is nice if you have it. A scissors, a ruler, a pencil and something to colour with. I'm going to use oil pastel but colouring pencils or markers would work too. Begin by drawing lines that are all the same width across your card and then cut them out. When you have lots of these strips cut out, you're going to cut two slits, one on either end of each strip. When you have cut two slits, you can then bend your strip and slot the two pieces together leaving you with a shape just like this. Repeat this as many times as you like. The more of this shape you have, the better. Using these single pieces of card, we are going to build up volume and form while trying to achieve rhythm and balance. Remember, we are creating a sculpture, which is something which takes up three dimensional space. We are doing this using a material which is usually flat, that's our card. Think about the qualities of the card that allow us to do this. It is easy to bend, this creates volume. It is lightweight but sturdy. This allows us to stack it and build it upwards. The bend in the card creates a tension, as if the card could spring forth at any moment. When constructing your sculpture, Think about the sense of proportion in your final form. The form is the three-dimensional shape of your sculpture. Does your sculpture have a choreographed flow? We often associate sculpture with materials which are solid and permanent, such as bronze, stone or steel. How does it feel to create a sculpture that is not permanent? Have you ever used card in this way before? Play around and reuse the folded card to create as many temporary sculptures as you can. If you like, you can use your oil pastels or markers to create textures and patterns on your strips of paper. How does this colour change your sculpture? You could use coloured strips of card too. Play around and find what's interesting for you. <laughs> 